Hey, Audacious Church, a very Merry Christmas to you. I hope you've had a great last couple of days with family, friends, those nearest and dearest to you, and I hope you've had a great time celebrating wherever and however you've been. Uh, thanks so much for joining us as we've continued this week with our devotions, looking at the different characters in the Nativity tale, and thanks for joining today. We're looking at the shepherds, the good shepherds who brought the good news. So won't you join me as I start off in Luke 2, verse 8 to 11, and it says this. And there were living shepherds, right? And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. And then suddenly, an angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them. They were terrified, but the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. Wow. Can you imagine you and a few other shepherd friends, you know, having what must have been an ordinary night and all of a sudden a bright light, a voice from heaven, an angel appears. And not if that wasn't crazy enough, he foretells that a baby has been born. And it's not just any baby. It is the Messiah. He is the Lord. Well, that's exactly what happened in quiet little Bethlehem. An unexpected audience received the most extraordinary announcement that Jesus, the Savior of the world, had been born. And you would expect, you know, the King of Kings who was being born here to be born maybe to royalty and dignitaries, but that wasn't the case, not even to the religious leaders of the times. These guys were shepherds. They tended their flocks in vast expanses. They were overshone by, you know, skylit, uh, starlit skies. And yet they were the receivers of the message. And God chose these humble shepherds to be the recipients of the news of Christ's arrival. The beautiful reminder that the message of Christmas is really and truly it's for everybody. Regardless of your social status or your occupation, God often reveals himself in the most extraordinary ways to the most ordinary people in ordinary moments. And I just think, praise God for that, because I'm nothing special. And I'm sure many of you are just as ordinary as I am. But God chose to reveal his extraordinary nature to our ordinary us. Praise the Lord. The shepherds, you know, initially we read in the story that they were terrified, that they almost shrilled and, and melted away in fear. But the angel said, to them, don't be afraid, don't be, don't be worried. Be assured that the message that I bring is good news. And actually says that it's a timeless word. In the midst of the ordinary routine, these shepherds became witnesses to an extraordinary event, the birth of the Messiah. And so as we reflect over this, you know, short piece of scripture, Let's embrace the message of joy that we received this Christmas, that it's not just a historical event, but it's actually, it's an invite for you and I to experience the joy that comes with knowing our Savior. The shepherds responded with eagerness, hastening to, you know, running to the newborn king. But for you and I this Christmas, let's, let's also be modern day shepherds. Let's be attentive to the message of hope and joy that God gives us at this Christmas time. May we also respond with the same enthusiasm, sharing in the good news of Jesus all around us. Just as the shepherds glorified and praised God, let our lives continue to be a chorus that, you know, praises and bring gifts to Jesus for he is our savior. Let me pray for you, if that's okay. Um, Lord Jesus, thank you for the timeless message of joy that Christmas brings. Help us to be like the shepherds to respond eagerly to the good news of Jesus' birth and may our lives be filled with praise and adoration for our Savior who came to bring light into the darkness. In Jesus' name, amen. Guys, we love you so much. Thank you so much for being with us. Um, always, I hope your 2023 has been phenomenal and we look forward to seeing you in the new year. God bless. We love you and we'll speak soon. Bye.